just arrived at 05 Tea Bar, one of Vancouver's premier spots for uh, straight tea. I'm super excited to talk with the owner who has graciously uh, given us some of his time, Pedro, to uh, go in and uh, check out the bar and have a little chit chat over tea. Let's jump in there and uh, see, what's, see what's brewing. and pencha and then mill it and then it's uh it's pretty good wow. so there's there's that um uh, you've probably seen these things I'm really but interested in that anaerobically fermented one anaerobically fermented perfect that sounds so interesting to me because let's do one of those pretty different than like well it's a completely different process than puar right yeah so it's i'm really and you, sometimes and they're done in series sometimes you do one you do aerobic and then anaerobic for some teas mm -hmm. but it, it's sour, so so unlike puer, which is not sour, yes, this thing will be uh, Ooh. simply sour, which you know it's. I'm so curious. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it'll be it'll be different. The the leaves are not, you know, what you would see for competitions and all that stuff because they're um, they're big and 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 right and 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 they look like uh, composted because that's what they are. Yes. Yes. Anaerobic rent it is. It's good. And what it's from, did you say it's a Japanese animal? Yeah, it's from a place called Tokushima. Um, it's it's an ca older kind of tea. Because of the fermentation process, it's it's really mild. It doesn't have that much caffeine or anything. Oh neat. But to give you an idea of how this works, you um you throw these leaves in um in a big barrel. It's a cedar barrel. Oh, and you let them just ferment for like six months like kind of sealed with the lid on or whatever yeah with the lid right to, to make it anaerobic right yeah, and, and, yeah. and and water there's a lot of water oh. and and uh, the barrel is already inoculated with with all the bacilli so it's a uh, it's like a lactic acid fermentation it really is like a pickling like you described it is right? definitely pickled it is definitely definitely pickled and uh, as you can see it's nothing that looks too Right? So it's, it's bancha. Oh. Wow. There are kind two ways to make it. Had I, had I done this uh, last night, I could have just uh, stick it in the fridge with cold water. And then right. what you drink is probiotic. You're drinking the, the bacteria. Oh, because if we boil it, we're going to... We're going to kill right? those guys. Do you mind if I have a quick sniff? Is that yeah, right? totally, please. I'm going to pour some boiling water, so... Mm. It is light, but you have that mild tea. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow, and, and you know, this smell. being bancha, sorry? Interesting smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very different. Yeah. Right? So the one I'm going to give you right now, it's a, it's a fermented tea. I'm pickled as, as, as we just discussed. Um, and then I'm going to serve it first straight, and then I'm going to do it on ice, so you can see, because it, it changes a lot. Oh, cool. Nothing too fancy, you know, this is not meant to be ceremonial, no. Yeah, yeah. It cool. just comes in a, you, you get a big chunk of glass or a giant teapot, you throw boiling water, that's it. Um, let's try that guy. But it's probably a little bit more different versus what you're... Yeah, for sure. What you're used to. But you nailed it, that's kind of what we like is the... Uh, a little different, right? Yeah. Or a lot different, even better. Right? Or a lot different. I was going to ask you a bit about what would, uh, like I checked out the, uh, the videos online, by the way, are beautiful, just like the store. Thanks, man. And I was going to ask you a bit about what people would experience if they came here, but I feel like I'm kind of in it right now. That's pretty much Is it. Is this it? You're yeah. Like, and, and the staff are pretty knowledgeable and chit chat with the folks about the tea. And exactly. The yeah. So, so, beautiful. so. The whole idea was to make it really simple and non-pretentious and just, you know, yeah. talk about anything. Uh, when, when we designed this, it was meant to be a common table and people would be el elbow to elbow and, you know, just chat. And you can chat to your fellow human beings or to the right. bartenders or whatever. Nice, nice. Uh, that has become a bit more complicated with COVID. Of course. But, and hopefully returning to something hopefully, more like yeah. that soon. In the ideal scenario, you would pop in. And, and some of our teas would be weird. So uh, that's okay. 
we, we would ask you what, what kind of tea you like or what kind of coffee you like. Right. And, and you would give us some guidelines, for example, you know, something weird, something that I don't know about. Perfect. So I would explain a few things and you give me guidelines on like what makes it. Right. My job is to make a drink that makes you happy. That's, that's it. Right. You know, wh whether it's called, whatever it's called. And should you have any questions about it, my, the other part of my job is to, you know, tell you as much as I know. In many cases, I know little, in some cases, no more. Right. But, uh, but that's it. You know, I, I do have personal relationship with many of the growers. Nice. Which yeah. is my, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I like the job. Right. That helps um, a lot. Yeah. I'm going to give this a, a smell here. Go for it. But, but yeah, that's, that's it. Um, you know, if you tell me that, for example, you like Austrian wines and you like a Gruner Feltliner, I might, for example, make an ice infusion of Gyokuro, which right. will be kind of grassy and smooth and, and you know, then, then, then it will be something appealing to your palate. Or maybe you say, I love uh, right. coffee and I like Ethiopian naturals. Perfect. So, so maybe I would go for some of the cooked pours that have a bit more, uh, right. more, more funkiness, more, more fruity fermentation. Mm -hmm. I love how you take the, uh, it doesn't have to be what tea do you like, it can be even what beverage do you like and you can still dial it in in the right direction and kind of take a, take yeah. a shot at it. Well, you probably notice this, but, but when you come to a place where, where tea is not a, a tradition, a custom, mm. you know, you, you can't go to, you, you're going to say, you know, I have this uh, Tie Lohan from Wu Yisan, because <laughs> people will like, yeah, sure, thanks, whatever. Yeah, they don't know what, what's going on. No. Right? When we first opened, many people said, well, I don't think you're going to be in business too long. And <laughs> just, just, just like that. And some people said, you know, um, I don't want to drink here because I only drink the finest tea, the most, you know, the most expensive Earl Grey. I said, OK, fine, like that, that's OK. And I didn't have the most expensive Earl Grey, but right. I could probably offer something that, that makes you happy. Right. So um, like a fine, straight black tea. Right. You know? Yeah, which, which and, and let that. me make you a drink. Mm. It happens to be tea. And if you want to learn more about it, then we'll talk more about it. But it, it's just a nice drink. That's, that's where yeah. we start. I think your ethos of what you said earlier, right? Just making something that you like is the reason that those people were wrong about your tenure. About surviving? Right? <laughs> I'm glad they were wrong. Yeah, well, I think you've got the right <laughs> idea of just serving something interesting, fun, and delicious, right? Yeah, that's really uh, beautiful. That being, oh, it's falling. Uh, yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, it is. And we, you know, make pretty good friends with, um, with people who do coffee, because many of them are also our customers. And, right. and they also make some really good drinks. Um, the tea community in Vancouver, as you probably know, is uh, it's pretty cool. And, and we didn't know. I was going to ask you about that, because it seems like um, when you got started, it was a little bit uh, nascent or just getting rolling. It was nascent, yeah. And um, I'm going to help you be a little bit immodest. It seems like you were a pretty lively part of the growing tea culture here. So I was. Thanks. So how how is it like uh, developing? You know. You know, um, aside, giving credit to the guests who were before. So, so yes, we. Uh, it's getting so much better because there are many more people who are interested in tea these days, and that's that's great. Nice. Versus versus 2012 when we opened. It's incredible how, how things have, have changed, improved. That. Nice. Yes. Nice. Uh, there are some people who have been doing tea forever. Uh, there are some folks over in, in Chinatown, like uh, Daniel from the Chinese Tea Shop and Olivia from Treasure Green. Fantastic. They're amazing. And, and each in their own, in their own uh, yes. territory, they, they, they each have their specialties. But I can safely say I've learned a lot from those guys, just, just, right, just going right. and drinking lots uh, of tea. You're warming my heart. I really, one thing I love about the tea community is that sort of uh, togetherness. If it's about sipping great tea, uh, I'm glad you threw out some of those names. That again was, uh, so they were in a Chinatown, those? Yes, like, yeah. in, in, Olivia got, her father is one of the pioneers of, of tea in Vancouver. And by pioneer, I mean 19, what, 50s or something like that? Wow. So that, that girl grew up in it. Right. Um, Daniel's also been doing tea for maybe 25, 30 years. Um, if there's anybody that I trust for Chinese antiques nice. or, or aged puar, the guy knows he's, he's just a wealth of knowledge. Nice. Um, so yeah, they're, 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 there's a pretty cool community. Many of them were before. They have a very different concept. It's much more of a traditional. Sure. Chinese uh, approach. Thank you. But um, you know, but they're they're um, 
super capable, incredibly generous. They, they helped me a lot since, since the beginning. Beautiful. Um, there's another gentleman that's importing uh, Xiaguan Tuo Cha in, uh, in Steveston, BC. Okay. And he's also extremely knowledgeable. I don't, I don't really think it's, it's done as a business. It's more like, like love of, of, of the art. Okay. Um, but, you know, he introduced wow. me to a teacher that, that teaches Gu Qing. And he's hooked me up with a, with a couple of really interesting growers in China. Again, super generous person. And awesome. he's uh, awesome. doing mostly to watch in, in Steveston. So nice. it's, it's, a cool, it's a cool community. Please. Really cool. Awesome. About some of the, I'm going to ask you a little bit of a mean question. Yeah. Which is, well, I, I'll spoil it on camera, but it's, it's, the, it's related to favorites, which is all I find always Dude, super hard too, right? I know. It's a, but everybody wants to ask that, so yeah, I, I kind of have to be the to, uh, to, to, to throw advocate. it out? Yeah, you know what? Um, I, as, as you guys probably know, it's a, it's a hard question to answer. It's and an awful question. It's an awful question, and, and it has to do a lot with... Yeah. So it was more. We love all those guys. Yeah. You've traveled all over, but here's here's the context, though. If I can make it easier for you, is uh, Jian Li travels all over China as well, and but there's still a place for her, uh, uh, Guju, where it hits her heart. I was wondering if you have a place like that, even though they're all great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So some places place that are particularly speaks, special. It just speaks to you, right? You know. So so I'll, I'll, I'll start by saying this. So tea is such a diverse mm. land. The, and and I, I really think that, that drinking, for example, uh, Anji Bai Cha is, is as different or more versus poor as it is versus coffee. So they're, they're, yeah. they're different worlds. So, mm -hmm. so, so, you know, s saying, do you like matcha or poor? Dude, they're, they're, they're so different. Do right. you like beer or wine? Or, it, it's not like, what is your favorite wine? It's, it's almost comparing your favorite Bordeaux sure. versus your favorite Pilsner. Like, they're, right. they're different. Um, I personally feel very, very close to Yunnan in China. Yunnan? Yunnan. Yunnan is... So the first time I went to Yunnan and, and I was climbing mountain and I saw the people from Hani, Hani uh, nationality. And I, I made a friend. I right on the mountain, I made a friend. And I looked at that guy and I said, this guy is Mexican. He, he's, you know, he has dark skin and the big eyes and, right, right. and, and, no, and the hair and the dress. And to me, Yunnan is, is home. It right. just feels super close to... yeah. yeah. Uh, and then gorgeous. you have these trees that are hundreds and, and you know, some say yeah. thousands. Go figure. But all trees. And they're big and there's a bunch of insects and, and it's a forest. So Yuinan is, is very, very close to my heart. Nice. Um, I find nice. it very non-pretentious, just, just, just simple. Nice. Um, yeah, and which, the people are so friendly, right? You are everybody's smiling friendly. and happy and... Uh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's such a different lifestyle. For me, it was really eye-opening too to see uh, how they live and, and how they enjoy their life. Uh, Everybody's very happy. Yeah. So that, that made that region very, very close um, to me for for reason. Nice. Um, I've also had, you know, there, there hasn't been a single province in China that I say, oh, you know, these guys haven't been nice. So Wuyisan has, mm. has, of course, rock teas and Huangshan has been super fun, and you know the, the, the style of tea is completely different. Have uh, you traveled to India for tea at all? Or? Not much. Not Korea, much. Japan, Uji. Uji has been beautiful for, for matcha, of course. Right. And Korea, there's a place called Hadong, Huage, mm -hmm. which I also feel really, really close to my heart. Mm -hmm. And they make very tea that's very unique. I've uh, traveled less outside for a very specific reason, because India, make some beautiful teas and they're mm -hmm. great and, and 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 so does assam and and nepal and all i find that the system is a bit more um it's a it's 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 a topic that's very much in style right but colonial right no colonial I, I heritage. Know you know it. they're very methodical and structured and in in a box kind of is that what you mean by colonial well the fact that it goes on auctions the fact that right that the the guys that you would put on postcards don't necessarily drink the best tea the best tea goes to an auction in germany which goes to like it, it, it's more of an auction thing. Okay. It's less of the the ninety nine year old lady that's that, that's making the tea is drinking it with her grandkids and and she did with her great grandmother. Right. Which is what I find more intriguing and beautiful, right? For my particular yeah. taste mm. in East Asia, because you see, my friend Yoshida's family has been making tea, for example, for three hundred years. Right. 
yes, and my friend exactly. Suji has had it for five generations. And, 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 and it's those guys, and those guys drink the best tea. That's such an interest, yeah. I didn't know that myself, having never been to India either, but it's like they've maintained the artisanal aspect, but with uh, maybe 110% of the professional quality still. You know, really, uh, that's a great point. It's, th that just makes it more appealing for me to, yeah. to go and explore. Yeah. It, I, I would gladly go to India and I would, you know, I think they make some really nice tea. And Definitely on my bucket list know. too. <laughs> but hanging out with a grandmother that's 99 years old and is making mm -hmm. tea and, and, and she just loves it because it's the way she's always had it, yeah. is very appealing for me. That brings me back to, uh, we had an experience in Yunnan where we went to, uh, I think it was Pasha and the, the grandma, the sort of matriarch of the house. Um, when we first arrived, she was in her tea plucking clothes and she quickly, she was a little bit, she quickly dashed off and came back in her full, she dressed up for us basically, mm -hmm. in her full Yeah, she feels like there's a guest in the house and I'm not ready for it. I, just, just I mean, I need to make it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. beautiful, beautiful spirit though of, of hospitality and uh, and warmth, like you say, right? And uh, and um, ancient Sometimes trees. You use that to tell me, don't always wear sweats. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Comfort is important. Yeah, that's, that's, that's especially that. with COVID, right? It's a <laughs> oh, dude, it's been a, it's been a funky, uh, funky few months. Um, yeah, well, one of the things that I love about Yunnan is, you know, at, at least for me, I can, you know, wear sandals all day and. Yeah, be out and Sin? yeah, unless you're alone. And then like die people, point. right? You just get your shirt and you roll it up and you let your belly out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's relaxed. Very relaxed. Yeah, um, we're, you you guys go more often um, around the the, the 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 Jiangsu Zhejiang region, right? Uh, all over, really. Yeah, I've been lucky. I mean, I've only been twice, so I'm kind of still a newbie. That's kind of what I bring to mm -hmm. the Gen T. She's the pro, and her mom is definitely the pro. And they go everywhere. She goes everywhere. Amazing. Go everywhere. So I've had the chance to be in Yunnan, mm -hmm. um, uh, Guangdong, uh, Fujian, uh -huh. Hui, uh, Sichuan. Sichuan. Sichuan is good. Uh, missed out on Tibet, but um, they it, went up to the. It's Tibet. delicate. Yeah. So so still still time, right? Things yeah. will open up, and we'll be heading back and and trying to mix up spring and autumn in various uh -huh. seasons, because as you know, right? There's uh, different teas, different seasons. Of course. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, exactly checking it out again. Love, yeah.